You guys are propped up on the toolbox and you keep sliding down. Am I being such a bum? This is what you gotta do when you make YouTubes for agriculture. This is a very satisfying sound. Oh, I'll shut up so you can hear it next time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> anyway. All right, guys. Welcome back to Ag with Emma. Today we are cleaning out the cab. So we have a waxing video. We have a power washing video. And today we're getting inside the cab and cleaning them out. So just like everything else, you clean stuff because it keeps it nice and you know, just kind of clean out all last all of the last season's dirt and nasty and all the dirty rags and water bottles and gum packets and whatever else is in there. So it takes me forever to do these and I just get so picky about it. And then I clean it and then it gets dirty again and just... <laughs> so if you have anything mean to say about how I do it, keep it to yourself. Everyone does things different, but unless it's like super helpful, like oh, I could really use that, then don't say it, right? <laughs> right? All right, let's get crack a lack -a. Here is a quick shot of what the cab looked like before I cleaned it. Hit it with the air compressed soap brush thingamajigger with. Okay, so now that that spot has sat for a little bit, I'm gonna take the air hose, hook it up. Now I've got our little thingy, and it's gonna push a bunch of air, soap, scrub it. Um, Also, whenever I do the little pressure soap gun thing in the vacuum, I just feel like I'm being a dentist for a tractor. I'll show you. Watch. Tell me that video doesn't look like me being a dentist for a tractor. I'll wait. Still waiting, because you can't tell me it didn't look like that. Okay, so I've been making progress. Um, I'm pretty much done with everything except the floor in here. So before you start or finish the floor, well, I mean, you can start it, but before you finish it, you want to clean your windows. So I'm just going to use a little bit of the John Deere glass cleaner. Um, you just spray a little bit. You don't need a lot. And then wipe it. So scrub her all in and then take another dry, clean towel and wipe it again to get rid of the streaks. So, I'll show so you. you don't need a lot, just probably a little bit more than that. I don't know, we're gonna see how far that goes. Maybe we'll, there we go. All right, and then you're just gonna wipe her all up. So there's some spots right there. Also, two buddies hanging out. <laughs> and then here is what the cab looked like after it got all spiffed up. She looks pretty nice. There we go. Oh, well that got more dirty. That's, <laughs> don't look at that. All right, it's not perfect, but it's a lot better. So, Yeah, it's just gonna get dirty again, but got most of it out. So I think now we're going to clean out 
Whoop, the bulldozer. Loader, not the bulldozer. My brain is farting on me today. Something I would really appreciate is a Bluetooth turn shop vac. I don't know if it's a thing, but it'd be nice. I'm sitting here struggling to turn it on. There we go. But side note, since that little airbrushy thingy likes to spew everything everywhere, especially over all the stuff that you just cleaned, I like to spray it with the spray bottle. Sorry, I did something. Um, first, and then let it soak, and then kind of vacuum all the nasty off, and then hit it with the air, because then you don't have to use as much of it, and because it gets really, like, gassy. Not gassy, but it definitely makes it hard to breathe. Um, OSHA approved. Anyway, I'm going to go grab the spray bottle and start, and you start from top to bottom. So that all the stuff you just cleaned doesn't get dirty. We're also running out of this. Like so. And then I'll go grab a scrub brush thingy and just scrub her up. And then I'll vacuum it up. And then I'll hit it with the airbrush. So. <sighs> yeah, it's a lot. And it takes me forever because I just, you know, I start cleaning stuff. And then I'm like, bleh. Also, shout out to the boss for finishing that because um, I was just letting it sit and soak and then he just went wham a damn damn with this thingamajigger. Got it all off, so appreciate it. And back to the Bluetooth Turnioni shop vacs. I'm showing you right now why it'd be helpful because I don't want the shop vac running all the time because I want to be able to hear my music. But I also have to vacuum that out, but that means I have to get all the way out to turn it on. And then turn it back off. This is also another handy tool we use. Sprays a lot more. So I should have been using this instead of spraying all the stuff out of the flower. But now we're here, so we're good. Also, I call this a loader and a, what did I call it? A bulldozer? A bulldozer earlier. My brain was farting. Why did my brain just tell me that this is a backhoe? Couldn't be the hoe on the back or on the hoe. <laughs> also, since we're playing dentist with the tractor, we're gonna have to take off the filter in the shop bag. We literally just put it back on because it was blowing crap everywhere all over the shop and I was like, why can't I breathe in here? Not literally, but it got dusty. So, we're just gonna take that off because we're gonna vacuum up the wet soap and you don't want your filter on for that. All that's left to do is clean the outside windows and we're gonna do that with a squeegee and a water bucket and then the cabs and the outside will be clean so sure. cleaner not the cleanest <laughs> just cleaner because they're just gonna get dirty again but it is still worth it to clean up your stuff because it's still you know it's just like cleaning your house you just got to do it this is literally all we use to clean the outside windows so just give her a good old slather up. If you don't know how to use a squeegee window washer thingamajiggy, I don't know what to tell you. 
You should probably clean some more windows at gas stations. Look, you just use a scrubby side, and then this is a squeegee side. And look at that. Wow. Just drag that thing all the way down. Bada bing, bada boom. It doesn't have to be perfect because it's going back outside, but it just gets all the nasty off. There you go. I don't know what Brayden's doing. He's washing off tools or something. And you're gonna get water everywhere. It is okay. That's what I have it learned. It is okay to make it messy because it's just a shop and it's just gonna get cleaned up anyways. So, backhoe cleaning checklist. We cleaned from top to bottom and got the floors and got all the little plastic pieces and we used the air hose and cleaned the windows and cleaned the outside windows and then cleaned the little boots on the little stick things with the orange spray. Um, I think the stuff in the orange spray bottle, what is that? That's a secret? Oh, it's tire cleaner. <laughs> Somebody will disapprove of that. Well, if anyone has anything to say about something I did wrong or cleaning supplies that we use that don't agree with them, then they can keep it to themselves. <laughs> um, and then in the air hose pressure washy psh psh thing, there is simple green with the yellow lid. And then in the bottle that we sprayed the floors with to scrub it with the... <sighs> the vegetable brush, that's right. I always forget. Uh, it was simple green with the green lid. That probably doesn't make any sense. I don't know. If you find it, then you find it if you want it, you I guess. Just ah, so there's no difference except the scent. Here, I'll show you. Pressure washy psh, psh, thing. The other thing. And they're both industrial cleaner and degreaser. Pressurized soap. It's the way to go. Just... And then vegetable brush the crap out of it. And then vacuum it. And then air pressure it with the soap, vacuum it again, and I think that about covers it. So now we have pressure washed, waxed, cleaned the cabs. They get brought in to get checked on maintenance and stuff like that. I think there was a leak in the 4240, and then the backhoe is just all sorts of, it's older than I am. That's what they told me today. The air conditioner pulleys need changed. So that's what the boys have been working on. The men, I guess. They're not boys because they're old. But that is that. Go clean your cabs. And while I've been cleaning these today, I posted on my Instagram story about um if people wanted a cab cleaning video. And all the dudes have been replying that they don't want to see a cab cleaning video or if they do want to see a cab cleaning video that they want it to be their cab. So if you guys want your cab cleaned, pay me gas money and I'll be there. If my boss lets me get time off. <laughs> oh yeah. Also cleaning supplies, cleaning supplies, gas money, hotel room, and I'll come clean up that cab partier than it might take me all day, but it'll be clean ish. <laughs> but anyways, remember to like the video, subscribe, share with your friends. Even if you didn't learn anything, because it's just fun to watch Emma make a fool of herself on the internet. Um, so thanks for watching. Catch you on the next also, video. Also remember to find me on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook. We're on YouTube. Have a podcast. New episode every Tuesday. And there's a link tree somewhere. Just find an account and learn all the facts and about Emma. So hasta la pasta.